Hey everyone, and welcome to the Corona Cast. Words of hope in a land without hand sanitizer. I pray you're doing well. Today we're gonna sing All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Ye chosen seed of Israel's race, ye ransomed from the fall. Hail him who saves you by his grace and crown him Lord of all. Hail him who saves you by his grace and crown him Lord of all. Our reading today comes from the seventh chapter of Matthew. Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone, or if your child asks for fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven good give things good give good things to those who ask? I think being a father has taught me more about what it means to love somebody than anything else in my life. Um, and so I'll say this, and I would appreciate if you don't tell my son if you happen to know him. But when Micah was younger, before he got a handle on his emotions, we would go around. I mean. I remember he would shout and he would fight and he would run down the hall as fast as he could and he had two things he would say right before he slammed the door. He'd say, I hate you and meanie and I love my boy and I've always loved my boy but I remember thinking when I heard those words that it didn't matter to me if he hated me because I still love him. And like this Bible passage says, if me, a sinful, broken person who is not always the best parent or father or pastor can manage to love someone running away from me, I know that God does for us as well. All hail the power of Jesus' name because that grace is a thing that transforms and defines us. It's the thing that finds us wherever we are and reminds us that we're loved not because of what we do, but because what God has done for us. I pray that you are well, and I hope that in this time you find that grace and peace and are reminded of that love. Let us pray. Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks for your love and your life. We give you thanks for the way you continue to give us good things. Watch over us now and in the days to come. In your name we pray. Amen.